Are you serious? Are you serious? What? That is a, a, a crow uh, in the family of the raven attacking a dove at the Vatican today on this uh, January the 26, 2014. The Pope uh, had two children with him as he was giving his message at St. Peter's Square. And the two children let two doves go out as doves of peace. But one dove was attacked by a seagull and the other dove was attacked by a black crow. The two doves that were released by the children standing alongside Pope Francis as a peace gesture have been attacked by other birds as tens of thousands of people watched in St. Peter's Square on Sunday, a seagull and a black, a large black crow, and you can see it there, swept down on the dove's right after they were set free from the open window of the Apostolic Palace. One dove lost some feathers as it broke free from the seagull, but the crow pecked repeatedly at the other dove. It was not clear what happened to the doves as they flew off, but they were definitely attacked in front of thousands, tens of thousands of witnesses outside of the window there where Pope Francis was giving his uh, message to the thousands in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican today, Sunday, January 26, 2014. Now, uh, we've done a little bit of research uh, first of all, you do know the dove, how important a dove is. In the Bible, not only does the dove ascend upon Christ after he's baptized by John the Baptist, and the Holy Spirit from heaven says, God speaks and says, This is my beloved Son, and whom I am well pleased, as the Holy Spirit descends upon him in the form of a dove. But also, we know that when Noah had been in the ark for almost a year, wondering if it was ever safe to get out of the ark, sent first ravens out, black ravens out to, out through the window, but the ravens never returned to give him any hope. So then he sent out doves. The doves did return 14 days later, bringing an olive branch in their mouth. Olive branch. Of course, the olive branch in the book of Zechariah refers to Jesus Christ. Again, so it was the dove that brought the first sign of life to Noah after the flood. The first sign of life coming out of the water was an olive branch, and it was confirmed by a dove. When John the Baptist baptized Jesus in the River Jordan, the first sign of life of the New Testament was the branch coming out of the water, and it was confirmed by a dove. But what we have here is Pope Francis the first, his message of peace, having two children let go of two white doves as a, a, to signify peace to the world. They are attacked, one by sea, the other by land, as the seagull attacks one dove and the raven, the black crow, attacks the other. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Of course, with the church being, of course, the dove, the church, the bride of Christ, the glory of God, is seriously under attack by demon spirits. The spirit of peace is truly under attack by the spirit of war. As the peace agreement's going on, can I tell you what the Bible says? When they say peace and safety, then cometh sudden destruction. And you can find that in 1 Thessalonians chapter uh, 5. Uh, uh, let me just flip over there real quick. And I'll read that for you just to kind of help you. It's found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Here's what the scripture says. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh 
upon them as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. Similar to what just happened here today. The peace, the, the Pope Francis says, peace, peace. But suddenly, destruction comes upon these doves in the form of a seagull on one, and a dove is attacked by a, a black crow on the other. Also, we're in the middle of a peace agreement that's taking place. And we know that John Kerry has been to the Vatican to see the Pope. We know that uh, President Barack Obama is going to the Vatican in March, March 27th, 2014. He's going to meet with the Pope to talk about peace. We know that the Pope is going to the Holy Lands. He's already been visited by Benjamin Netanyahu, who came to the Vatican to talk about peace. We know that Palestinian President Abbas came to the Vatican. He also came there to meet with the Pope to talk about peace. And we know the Pope is going to the Holy Lands, May 24th, 25th, 26th. And he's going to meet, he's going to spend a day in Jerusalem meeting with Benjamin Netanyahu. And we also know he's going to go to Bethlehem and meet with President Abbas of the Palestinians. We know he's going to Jordan, to the palace in Amman, Jordan, to meet with King Abdullah II. But his peace offerings may come under attack, both by land and sea. Uh, as the, uh, are you serious? Are you serious? Something biblical's going on here. And oh, by the way, just announced yesterday, the Pope is also coming to the city of brotherly love. He's coming to Philadelphia. When? Apparently the date's not official, but it looks like will be September 22nd through the 27th. The Pope is coming to America. He's coming to Philadelphia, to the city of brotherly love. But will he be attacked by a raven? And let me just say this. September 27th, his last night in America, is the eve before the fourth blood moon, which is scheduled for September 28th, 2015. That will be the final fourth blood moon, uh, which is, of course, the uh, Feast of the Tabernacles. So there's a lot of symbolic situations you can't, I, what do you want me to do about this? I can't run away from the story. Matter of fact, let me give you another story that Heidi found that I found very important. And tonight, don't miss tonight's broadcast. Uh, as it, Sunday Night Live, we're going to dig in deeper. There is definitely something symbolic and spiritual about what's going on here with this. But my wife, Heidi Begley, will be my co-host tonight since I'm still trying to recover from reconstructive hand surgery. So she'll be my co-host. We will dig in deeper. And not only get you up to speed on all the current world events, like the uprisings in Egypt, and Edward Snowden in Germany, and the uh, 300 people sick on a cruise ship uh, out in the ocean, uh, and a lot of other things. But we're going to go back to revisit this situation. Let me show you something else here. Besides this raven, look down here. There's the seagull in this picture. There's the seagull. Now that seagull actually attacks the other dove. And this crow from the raven family attacks that dove. It's unbelievable. Imagine tens of thousands of parishioners standing in St. Peter's Square watching the Pope give a message on peace with two little children who release these beautiful white doves and they're attacked before the very eyes. One from land, one from sea. Is there, is there a war coming? And is that war upon the body of Christ? Or is that war upon the spirit of peace for the whole world? Uh, which I feel very, very, very uh, certain is going to happen by reading that scripture I just did. You know, we're in the middle of a peace agreement. And it's supposed to end, it's supposed to come to an end sometime in late April, early May. Uh, during the four blood moon cycle, there's four of them over a two year period. And uh, will the peace agreement happen? Or will peace be destroyed by the threat of war? Don't miss tonight's show. It's from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern, Sunday Night Live. That's Sunday Night Live at my website. Be there early at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I can't wait to get Heidi's take on this story. 
and she's got more information. Matter of fact, she found where on March 13, 13, is that right, Heidi? March 13, 13, the, uh, during the conclave, there was a situation developed where a bird sat on top the pipe where you wait for the white smoke. I'm going to show you that picture right now. Here it is. And guess what that bird was? Here's the picture. This happened at the Vatican. That is a seagull. So while they were, while all the cardinals were inside voting on who was going to be the next pope, it was not a dove that stood on top of the pipe waiting for the white smoke. It was a seagull. Again, seagulls are considered unclean birds, and so are crows and ravens. They are considered unclean. So what you have here is some very, very, very serious symbolic signs. Remember what I've said, and you guys know I've said this how many times. Whatever's going on in the spiritual world, many, many, many times manifests in the physical. We're going to try to break this all down for you with some historical information as well as biblical prophecy and insight of the Holy Spirit of what's going on in the last days. Do not miss the show. Again, it's at Sunday Night Live from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. If that website fills up and you can't get in because it's overloaded, go to livestream.com and type my name and find me. Or go to the new live stream channel, type my name and find me. Or go to Blog Talk Radio and listen to it under the, the, the name Coming Apocalypse. Or if you're not home but you don't want to dare miss the show, use your cell phone and dial this number, 347-324-5208. That's 347-324-5208. That's 347-324-5208. Or if you're home and you have Roku, you have the television little satellite box called Roku, go to, go to the new live stream channel and type my name, Paul Begley. You will find the live broadcast and you can watch it live on your television if you have Roku satellite box. And you can buy those Roku boxes for about $89 or something like that at Walmart. You can go buy that one time only, hook it up to your TV, and you can watch every one of my broadcasts live on the new live stream channel. You go to the new live stream channel and then it's a new live stream app. You go there and then once you get on new live stream channel on Roku, then you just type my name Paul Begley and I will pop up and you can watch the live broadcast or any of the archives, okay? Don't miss it tonight. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ.